Hi, I'm Ryan Payne with Garage Grooves, and today I have a tech tip for you on this nice tool I have here. So there's many names that we call this tool. We call it Mueller tool for short, uh, or uh, just a bushing inspection tool, which I don't really like to call this a bushing inspection tool because this tool will allow you uh, to inspect almost every component in the suspension system of a vehicle. Um, this thing actually sits underneath of the wheel. You'll pick the car up, set the wheel down on the tool, whether it be on a flat rack like you see behind me or on the ground. Um, and this tool puts a lot of force on that wheel assembly so you can find looseness in ball joints, bushings, wheel bearings, almost any component in that suspension, uh, we can find looseness with this tool. Um, it's available pretty much anywhere. You can search it up, uh, find it out there online. Uh, but instead of just sitting here talking about it, why don't I get over to the car? I'm going to get this thing installed and I'll let you see for yourself. All right, so we're over here underneath of our 2016 Dodge Journey. Uh, I've got it up on the lift. I've got wheel chocks underneath the rear wheel. Um, it's in park. Um, I've actually got a brake depressor in this one simply because I'm going to show you both directions that we can use these tools in and out as well as the direction of, of travel. Um, so we need to make sure the brakes are locked down so we don't get any movement um, out of the wheels themselves. We want all the force from these tools to be directed into the wheel assembly. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this air jack. I'm going to bring it to a safe spot uh, in a correct lift point to lift this thing up just high enough to get the tools uh, underneath the tires. So it doesn't, have, you know, it doesn't have to go very high, about two and a half, three inches or so, but we want to focus on getting this tool right in the middle. Uh, and the first test we're going to do, or the first inspection we'll do, is in and out direction of the tires. So we'll do it where I'm going to pull it inside, so I'll go up and down from the inside of the vehicle to put the force in this direction. All right, then we can inspect ball joints uh, and bushings um, as we do that. This car does have a complaint of a noise in the right front, so hopefully we'll be able to find it, whether it's in this direction or when I flip the tools around to do it the other way. So let's get it set up. All right, so I've got the tools installed where I want them. And all I'm gonna do here is I've got two of them installed, so I'm just gonna work them up and down. And you can probably actually see the tires flexing on this thing, but like I said, it's a ton of force I'm putting on it. And I can inspect everything here. So I'm looking for any ball joint movement. I'm looking for any bushing movement. Uh, like I said, wheel bearing, any noises. Uh, I do hear a little bit of noise you might be able to hear, but it's really just this rack creaking around a little bit. I'm actually not really seeing anything. So what I'm actually looking at here is I'm looking, uh, and just for the sake of time, I don't want to take a camera and show you every bushing in this vehicle, uh, but this is one I can show you really well with this vertical control arm bushing, uh, and these are known to fail on these vehicles. So I'm looking at this as I work the tool. I'm not seeing any movement there. And just to visually give you a good indication, I've actually placed this dial indicator. Um, it's clamped onto the lower control arm, and then I'm a, 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 the pointer uh, or indicator is actually touching the ball joint. And as you see while I'm working this thing, you know, it's very, very minute uh, amount of play we're seeing in this ball joint. Um, I've already got this placed here, once again, to give you a good visual, but I also have a, a sneaking suspicion, suspicion excuse me, um, that it may be the problem here, but I'm not seeing it in this direction. So what I'll actually do here, um, I said I can do it in multiple directions. I will actually, I'm going to flop these tools around. I'll have to lift it back up, change direction that the tool is sitting to put the force in the direction of movement. Once again, I do have a brake pedal to pressure in this vehicle uh, so we can do that. So let me get these tools swapped around and we'll take another look at it. All right, as you can see, I've got these tools swapped around now. Now, let me go over the setup one more time. This thing is chalked, all right? The parking brake set, it's in park, and there's a brake pedal depressor in here. Otherwise, you know, these wheels are just gonna wanna rotate around on us and we're not gonna get any force put into them. Uh, but that is the setup, so it's the same principle here. 
I'm just going to work them up and down, but I can inspect the same things. We're just putting force in a different direction. All right. So I didn't move the cameras around much. So we're still looking at this uh, vertical control arm bushing. Once again, just for the sake of time, I don't want to walk you through every, every bushing. But as you can see while I'm working it, I don't see any movement uh, in this bushing at all. The problem you can see if you'll watch that dial indicator is I'm working these things up and down. Remember, I've got the dial indicator on that lower uh, ball joint on the passenger side. And you can see I got about 20 thousandths uh, of movement um, in that ball joint. I already had a suspicion that that was the problem. Um, and now I've verified for sure that's where it's at. The spec on this is actually 39 thousandths axially. Now you can tell by the setup I'm not, not actually measuring axially, but I'm honestly not too concerned about a spec here because it has a noise complaint. I've verified it on a test drive. Um, I've shaken this thing down with these tools, you know, quickly, efficiently, and now I've verified with the dial indicator um, that that ball joint um, is the problem. So. Uh, I think we're, we're good to go with that diagnosis. We can try to sell a ball joint on this one, uh, but we'll be good to go. But hopefully you've seen how these tools uh, make your suspension inspection a little bit quicker. Um, nice and easy with one person. We can put a ton of force uh, on these wheels to check bushings and ball joints, wheel bearings um, on this alignment rack or on any type of flat rack. So it just makes it really easy. I hope everybody enjoyed this tech tip. Uh, for more videos like this, hit that subscribe button, smash the thumbs up if you enjoyed it. You can also find more information at garagegurus.tech. I'm Ryan Payne with Garage Gurus. Make it a good one.